Oh, hey guys. So today we are doing an experiment that involves freezing point depression. So we know that something freezes at a constant temperature or um, it boils at a constant temperature. And so today we have the compound lauric acid that we are going to measure its freezing point by itself. And then when we add a solute, then we expect that the solute is going to affect its freezing point. It's going to lower it by a certain amount. So with this concept, you can determine your unknown solute just because you, um, with the freezing point, you just need a specific amount of the unknown. And with that, you can use the unknown um, amount to calculate for its molality, which you will relate it to its molecular weight. So right here I showed you we have lauric acid and I am going to obtain the mass of lauric acid but I'll first weigh the empty beaker here, empty flask, sorry. And I'll record all the data in my notebook. So the weight of the empty flask is 85.317 grams. I will take this plus and add about 9 grams of fluoric acid. So I'll scoop it in. Our plus, and I added some lauric acid, and the mass is 94.359 grams. And now what I'll do next, I have my water bath here started. I put some water in this beaker here, and I heated it up. So I am going to place my plus with pure lauric acid into the water bath. And melt it. water above, above, above like the melting point of um, lauric acid. I'll keep it about um, above 60 degrees Celsius and once I have it in a liquid form then the temperature that I will be taking is um, for it to change back to the solid from a liquid state. So
So when it does that at a constant temperature, that will be my freezing point for the pure lauric acid. So I'll just wait for the, for the lauric acid to melt and wait for the temperature to be about 60 degrees and degrees Celsius and I'm going to start monitoring the temperature change as it drops from 60 until I get that freezing point temperature. Okay, so I'll check the temperature of my lauric acid. And I will say it's about 60 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to take it out and transfer it here. flask at an angle so that it's easier for me to insert the temperature probe and monitor the temperature change. And so I am going to start the logger probe data collection. Let me start this way. And I'll just keep collect. data and starting at about 62 degrees and I will constantly um, start just to make sure that I have uniform temperature throughout the experiment. Say that again, you are out of frame. Hmm? Say that last part again, you are out of frame. Okay. So you can see here that the starting temperature is about 62 degrees Celsius. And I am going to keep stirring this liquid so that I have a um, uniform temperature as it drops from 62 degrees Celsius. Now we can see that our lauric acid has uh, become a solid. So we have reached a constant temperature. Here as you can see the graph, it's slanted fast and then it levels off. So at this constant temperature is when you get your freezing point temperature for lauric acid and it's a solid right now. So I am going to add my unknown to this. Okay, first I'll make sure that my temperature probe doesn't have any lauric acid on it. And I will take my unknown number one and I'll just put it in the flask. And again, I'll put this in my water bath. And warm it up until it's a liquid. Okay, so once it's back into the liquid, I'll also take the temperature, make sure it's about 60 degrees Celsius, and then I will repeat, I will repeat the same procedure, and I'll show you how the, um, the cooling cup for lauric acid plus unknown number one will look like. <laughs> 